Did you know that less than 2% of Americans do not get enough potassium daily? You would need to consume about 5 additional bananas worth of potassium daily just to get the recommended amount. You'll have a poor potassium diet if you don't eat enough vegetables or fruits. But why should you care about potassium deficiency? Your heart, muscles, urinary system, brain, and other organs all depend on this mineral. In today's video, let's discuss symptoms that tell you your body needs more potassium. When should you start supplements? Are there any foods that can actually help? We're talking about all that and more. Do you experience heart palpitations and fluttering? A potassium shortage can be fatal. Severe deficiency known as hypokalemia have profound cardiovascular implications. According to research, most Americans barely consume around half the daily requirement of 4,700 milligrams of potassium. Doctors will consider you to have severe hypokalemia if your potassium levels are lower than 2.5 millimoles per liter. The body needs this essential vitamin for maintaining heart contractions. Hypokalemia affects 7-17% to of those with cardiovascular disease. This is because potassium affects the heart's muscular contractions, which in turn affects cardiac function. If you experience an abnormal heartbeat, call your doctor right away. Heartbeat irregularities can be quite harmful and cause unforeseen cardiac arrests. Next, are persistent muscle aches making you miserable? Smooth muscle contraction depends on your potassium levels. Having low amounts might cause pain and even spasms. Potassium aids in transmitting brain messages to your skeletal muscles to trigger contractions. Low blood potassium levels make it harder for your brain to send these impulses. Extreme deficiency can cause severe rhabdomyolysis. This is a dangerous condition where your muscle tissue degrades quickly and frequently damages your kidneys. Additionally, you lose more potassium from your body when you eat more sodium. Many processed foods are high in sodium. Chips, crackers, and frozen dinners reduce potassium levels, so avoid them if you're already deficient. Moving along, those frequent bathroom visits could indicate a potassium deficiency. It can be because of your recent diuretic drink like coffee or soda. But if you're emptying your bladder more than usual, there might be a medicinal reason. Low potassium is one of many disorders that might increase urine output. A 24-hour period of frequent or repeated urination episodes with high amounts of urine passing through the body is known as polyuria. The amount of urine that a person with polyuria may excrete daily could reach almost 3 liters. That is significantly more than the typical daily output of 800 milliliters to 2 liters. This condition differs from nocturia or the need to get up in the middle of the night to urinate. The kidneys filter waste minerals from the body. They also control fluid and electrolyte levels in the blood, including salt and potassium. They accomplish this by excreting unwanted byproducts of multiple biochemical reactions in the body and extra electrolytes in the urine. The kidneys' capacity to maintain fluid and electrolyte balance in the blood can get compromised by moderate to severe hypokalemia. This typically results in excessive urination. Another symptom that you should never ignore is raised blood pressure. Potassium insufficiency can happen if a person consumes insufficient amounts of the mineral through diet or loses too much of it through prolonged vomiting or diarrhea. The body needs to maintain a balance between potassium and sodium. Imagine potassium as the principal ally of sodium. Overeating salty food can raise blood pressure, but eating a diet low in potassium might have the same impact. Your kidneys use potassium to help them excrete extra sodium through urine. The kidneys will absorb sodium into the bloodstream if there is insufficient potassium in the body, which may eventually cause high blood pressure. Potassium also aids in blood vessel relaxation. A deficiency may tighten them up, causing high blood pressure. Also, never overlook the ongoing sense of exhaustion and energy depletion. Numerous factors, including dehydration, drugs, and specific medical problems, can make you feel worn out. However, you might want to reevaluate your diet to determine if you're getting enough potassium. But it would be best to do that after ensuring you've been getting enough sleep but still feel weak and lethargic during the day. Scientific data shows that a potassium deficit may affect the ability of the body to produce insulin. Blood sugar levels may rise as a result and less glucose may be available to fuel your cells. Without glucose, you'll feel fatigued. Potassium deficiency can have a massive impact on your digestion as well. 
All muscles, including the intestines, can contract because of potassium, but your intestinal movements are inhibited by a potassium deficiency. The food in your intestine does not passively move ahead by osmosis or gravity. Instead, digestion, absorption, and metabolism depend on regular intestinal contractions, known as peristalsis. Your intestines, smooth muscle tissue undergoes periodic contraction and relaxation during peristalsis. It produces a wave-like movement that forces the contents of the canal forward. The muscle contracts effortlessly if enough minerals and electrolytes are present. The potassium in your body aids in the churning and propulsion of your digestive system, which helps food digest properly in the stomach. However, if the digestive system has insufficient potassium levels, it may weaken and slow down the flow of food, leading to bloating, constipation, and other digestive issues. Do your legs fall asleep without being trapped in an awkward position? Potassium is crucial for the health of your nerves. The feeling of a hundred needles piercing your skin might not be alien to a few. Abnormal potassium levels in the body may cause loss of sensory function. This numbness or tingling sensation, also known as paresthesias, affects the hands, feet, fingers, or toes, but it can also spread to the arms and legs. Potassium impacts the electrical signals transmitted from your muscles and skin to your spinal cord and brain. A deficiency typically can cause you to lose sensation in your extremities. Looking for an immediate remedy? The easiest method to consume enough potassium is through diet. Are you thinking about bananas? Then let me tell you other foods that provide more potassium than bananas. Here's a list. Try beet greens. Although you can use the red earthy root vegetable in everything from salads to juices to soups, beet greens can also add a punch of potassium to your food. 100 grams of these leaves contains 909 milligrams of potassium. The flavor of the leaves is similar to that of kale. Instead of throwing them away, turn them into a quick, easy side dish. Add some olive oil along with crushed garlic and pepper in a skillet. Add blanched and coarsely chopped beet greens, saute for a minute and season with salt. Voila! Your hearty dish is ready. Salmon can also deliver maximum potassium. This oily fish contains all the essential nutrients to keep your heart, brain, and eyes healthy. It is high in omega-3 and B vitamins that promote the production of red blood cells. Additionally, it's an excellent source of lean protein and is perfect for building muscle. 100 grams of cooked salmon contains 628 milligrams of potassium. Grilled or baked fish and a little squeeze of lemon with a salad make a perfect meal any day. We have a protein-rich source for our vegan folks as well. Binge on some white beans. Some of the world's healthiest foods include beans. White beans, commonly referred to as white navy beans, have fantastic health advantages. Along with being rich in potassium, they're also packed with antioxidants and molybdenum, which is much needed for detoxification. They also include a lot of fiber and protein and make alpha amylase inhibitors, which help control how the body stores fat. These beans contain a remarkable 561 milligrams per 100 grams. Additionally, a serving of one cup has a whopping 17 grams of protein and 11 grams of fiber, which makes it a complete food. The next creamy addition to our list is avocados. 100 grams of avocados contain 485 milligrams of potassium. Avocados give most dishes a lovely smoothness. They go well in a delectable spaghetti sauce and a tasty salad dressing, not to mention the craze of avo toast and avocado smoothies. They're a good source of folate and vitamin E. Additionally, they offer more soluble fiber than other fruits and are rich in beneficial minerals, including iron, copper, and potassium. Avocados include heart-healthy unsaturated fats like oleic and linolenic acids that help control cholesterol, so remember to include them in your meals. Potatoes and sweet potatoes can also make wonderful inclusions. Both these potatoes are nourishing and have significant amounts of manganese, vitamin C, and A. Additionally, they may enhance immunological, gastrointestinal, brain, and eye health and have anti-cancer capabilities. Use these root vegetables in both sweet and savory dishes along with the skin. The most considerable amount of protein is stored there. About 1,600 milligrams of potassium are present in a big cooked potato. In contrast, 1,110 milligrams is found in one sweet potato. Jacket potatoes, anyone? The next appealing carb-rich veggie is acorn squash. This squash is less popular than butternut squash but could be included in your fall menu rotation. Its stunning hue and sweet flavor are delicious and packed with nutrients. Squash is versatile and can be stuffed, sautéed, steamed, baked, roasted, boiled, pureed, or even utilized as a secret ingredient in pie. Acorn squash has 437 milligrams of potassium per 100 grams. 
Last on our list is a drink, milk. Since childhood, we've been told to have milk for protein, vitamin D, vitamin A, calcium, and other necessary nutrients for the body's growth. Many experts link dairy-rich diets to a reduced risk of high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Milk's nutritional composition promotes bone health. Milk and milk products like yogurt and cheese with higher fat content have lower potassium content and vice versa. For instance, a cup of skimmed milk has 381 milligrams of potassium, while a cup of 1% milk has 366. So read your labels carefully. Wondering if you should be adding potassium to your daily stash of multivitamins? A nutritious diet can provide adequate potassium. Your potassium levels could also be low as a result of an illness or medical treatment. Potassium supplementation may be necessary when the serum potassium level is below 3.5 millimoles. Take potassium supplements as directed by a medical professional only. These supplements may have harmful side effects at greater doses, including low blood pressure, heart and muscle issues, upset stomach, and coma. So never self-medicate. Also, avoid taking them with other medication to prevent drug interactions. Did you know potassium deficiency is closely related to magnesium deficiency? That's why paying attention to your magnesium needs is equally important. Check out these 14 warning signs your body needs more magnesium, or 16 clear signs of magnesium deficiency you should not ignore. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn how to protect your body from harmful side effects like fatigue, high blood pressure, asthma, and others. Have you experienced any symptoms of potassium deficiency lately? Let us know in the comments below.